Okay, as you can see, the starting stick is pretty much burnt out. So, first step I'm going to do, shut the stack door. Shut the ash pan door. We'll plug in the controller. Make sure the fan is off. Go through a quick boot up process. If you can't tell we're having a Florida summertime afternoon storm. I had this controller out of the weather. This controller can never see any water. If it does, it loses continuity to the thermometer and in turn loses continuity with everything else. So it's really a catastrophic problem controller working over that. Um, now I've plugged it in, we've got the fire lit. I'm taking the models that have the smoke stack adjustment over that halfway. I know the video doesn't show this real well, but I've got this set my grill to cook at 250 degrees and it's currently 94. So I'm going to adjust this. I want to cook at 215. Get my arrow set to 215 and it's going to do a flashing process. You will hit set and it will quit flashing. So the process is blue arrow to adjust your temperature and then the red set. Don't do set, then adjust the temperature. You want to adjust the temperature, then hit set. So now that we have this where we want it, we want to cook 215 degrees. The controller is now going to try to make the red temperature equal to the green temperature. When we're preheating, we usually set it on valve medium. So we have valve low, medium, and high. Actually, it's valve off, medium, and high. This would be valve off when you go to check the grill oil. We're going to set it on valve medium. We have this going. Bang on. And that's the process to light a southern bread smoker.